Hey guys, and welcome to my first video of 2017. If you don't already subscribe to me, my name is Chelsea, and if you aren't already subscribed, well, then you probably should, because, like, you know, it's so promo. <laughs> first off, let's just address the fact that I'm sick, so if I sound a little funny, it's because I can't breathe through my nose, so I might sound a little weird. Also, if I have any boogers running down my face, I'm sorry. Just, you know, I have, I have this handy, just in case. But for my first video of 2017, I thought I would do a skincare routine as I have changed my skincare recently and I feel like it has made a big difference in my overall skin. So I thought that I would share what I do with you all because it's really cleared up a lot of my acne scars and I don't have as much acne as I used to, which I think is amazing. And I've only really been doing this skincare routine for about three weeks now and I'm already seeing a lot of results. So I thought that I would share them with you all. So I'm just going to quickly show you or talk to you about what I use to take off my makeup. In this video where I demonstrated I filmed it in the morning so I had to have any makeup on. But if I do take off my makeup, I use the Johnson's Baby Oil to take off my eye makeup. So I just rub that on my eyes. And then I use the Clean and Clear Makeup Dissolving Folding Cleanser to take off the rest of my makeup. And I just rinse it and that washes off all my makeup. And now I'm going to go into the actual skincare stuff that I use to wash my face. So, the first thing that I use is this. This is the Olherenskin Olheren, Olheren All Skin Types African Red Tea Foaming Cleanser. And it is a foam rich creamy cleanser that just really just makes your skin feel clean. Um, it's a very nice gentle cleanser. I don't find it dries out my skin at all. I have a normal skin type. I would say it used to be oilier but now I would probably say it's just normal. It really really helps just get into your skin, clean everything. It makes you when you wash your face after you're like wow my skin is clean. It gives you that clean feeling and it's also just really really gentle so it's not burning or making you feel like really tight after. It's really really nice just natural skincare. It says it is sulfate free, um, is even suited for sensitive complexions, no parabens, blah 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 blah. So I just massage one pump into my face. Two pumps would be way too much unless you have like a giant face or something. I don't know. But one pump is all you need and that's what I use to wash my face. I'm just going to talk a little bit about the face mask that I use. If I am going to use a face mask, I'd probably do it about once or twice a week. Um, I got this for Christmas and I've been doing it regularly and I am seeing results from it. So the first one is the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. is like the mini one. So I only put this on my nose. Um, I find it the it harsher of the two, so I only put it on my nose area as so I'm just kind of focusing on where my pores are largest like on my nose and then for the rest of my face I use the rose clay retexturizing mask so I apply this around the rest of my mat my mask the rest of my face on my chin my cheeks my forehead all that area um, it says that this powerful mask with Mediterranean rose clay Canadian willow herb and exfoliating Jehovah beads helps gently clean pores while refining skin's texture the result, skin emerges anew, pores appear to vanish, radiance is restored, skin looks refreshed, flawless, and feels silky smooth. I definitely agree with the silky smooth aspect. It makes your skin feel so nice after. So I just put both of those on. I leave them on for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's really, really dry and your face is literally like this and you can't move it. And then what I do is when you're washing these off, you kind of have to like scrub them off. So as you're scrubbing, it kind of like gently exfoliates your skin as well. And then once it's all wiped off and washed away with water, your skin just feels perfectly smooth and like so nice. And I feel like this really helps with acne it really helps target your acne but not in like a really harsh way with any kind of harsh chemicals as I have tried that way before and I found that it didn't work for me so I've chosen not to do that route anymore and I just kind of use natural skincare and like more natural ways instead of like salicylic acid or like benzoyl peroxide I find that doesn't really help personally next up which is the number one thing I think has changed my skin is this um it's called Cosmier Australian certified Certified Organic Rosehip Oil. Rosehip Oil is supposed to be amazing for scarring, for acne, for stretch marks, for anything like that. So all I do with this is morning and night I apply three drops. It has a little drop applicator. So I apply three drops into my palm and then I massage it all over my entire face. I think this is literally like changed my skin my acne scars have already lightened so much the redness in my skin is starting to go away and i'm starting to get a way more even skin tone which is amazing for like days where i don't want to wear makeup um i used to like never want to leave the house without 
at least a little bit of makeup on. Yesterday or two days ago, I actually left the house with like no makeup on, and that's like weird for me. I don't do that. Um, but yeah, like my skin just felt so much like clearer and like just more even. Like I still have like a little bit of acne, like little ones, but nothing big like I used to have. And any of my like under the skin like cystic acne is starting to like decrease and like go away which is amazing and I honestly think this has like such a big part of it you can get these from an all-natural store that's where I got mine from and I literally think it's like amazing like I think this is changing my skin let's see what it says um it's kind of like a multi vitamin for the skin packed with essential fatty acids vitamins and antioxidants so yeah I just apply that morning and night and I massage it into my skin and then the next thing that I've been using which I also absolutely love is the Sunday Riley Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream I just have like the mini sample because I want to try this first before I splurge and bought the big expensive one <laughs> so this is basically a acidy moisturizer but it's just so nice it, like it's so refreshing on the skin um, it just makes you feel so moisturized it honestly feels like a water cream like the way they say that it's like a water title title which reminds me of like water I don't know it just makes me feel like you're like applying like a really nice like splash of water but like absorbs into your skin it's amazing um, it says on here that the alpha air bite brightens the hydro higher hyaluronic acid hydrates and the enzymes exfoliate so I apply this morning and night to my skin and I just feel like it really just helps moisturize it and keeps my skin balanced and I also think this has helped my acne scars as well as I've been using both of those and I think that's really really changed my skin. And then the last thing that I use is the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask to quench skin's thirst. I use this again twice a week um, overnight. So you apply this one at nighttime. Um, if you just kind of apply it like a moisturizer all over your face, it is very thick. I would never apply it during the day. You'll be like a grease ball. Um, your makeup probably just like melt off your face. But it's basically like a replenishing mask. Um, it says it has plant glycerin high hyaluric acid that acid again and apricot kenzel oil um it also has avocado and mango in it it smells like mango i mean i can't smell it right now because yeah let's prevent future moisture loss so basically you apply this at night and you wake up and your skin is just amazingly moisturized and you just feel like i'm ready for the day and then you just carry on and wash your face like normal and yeah it's just great for like keeping your skin really hydrated um i think it's really important for acne to be hydrated because i feel like once your body is not hydrated like if you're not drinking enough water or you're not putting a moisturizer on your skin gets dry it gets angry and then a lot of the time acne can come out um just like the fact that over like excess oil can also cause acne like if you're eating greasy food all the time or you're just never washing your face that can also cause acne as well um, but I feel like this skincare regime that I've created has really, really helped clear up my skin. Um, you'll see if you've watched my past videos that my skin has always been, like, in my makeup tutorials, you'll see, like, in the beginning, my skin has always been kind of, like, different, like, it's not very even in skin tone, and I have acne, and I have, like, all that kind of stuff, but I feel like it's really starting to even out a lot better. And I'm noticing less acne, which is amazing and makes me so happy. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it helpful. I will try and leave links to every single product in the down bar if I can find it for you all. So you guys can purchase it as well if you're interested in getting any of the skincare products that I used. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias. I will have my Instagram and my my snapchat and whatnot linked for you all down below. As well as that you can just search my username. I'll have my usernames on the screen. But... I hope you guys enjoyed this and comment down below any video suggestions that you would like to see for 2017. I would love that and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys. Can we all just take a moment to laugh and appreciate the fact my eyelash was just falling off that entire clip? That's my, uh, that's my 2017 so far guys. <laughs> well, well shit. <laughs>